Let's now get to some of our games early on. Uh, and I'll tell you what, the Colts and the Vikings had a matchup of two hot teams going on uh, in the Homer Dome, the Hubert H. Humphrey Metrodome, if you will. And if you're a fan of field goals and defense, you love this game. The Vikings looking to stop Eric Dickerson. Very few people have, but 34 straight games, the Vikings hadn't allowed 100 yards. And this is the type of defense that's done it. Studwell first, then Henry Thomas. This is what Dickerson saw all day long. Watch the hits laid on him by Jesse Solomon and Chris Dolman right there. The Vikings tough up the middle. Eric the Great, well, I'll tell you what, this shows how great he is because he hung in despite all this. And where's he going to go, Tommy, on this play? Defense, penetration and then collapse that defense on the runner. Here they leave Dickerson nowhere to hide. But you saw those hits. The man still got 72 yards. That's impressive. He's now 12-37 uh, for the season. That's a Colt record passing Lydell Mitchell's. Would they brand the Colts at Minnesota? Well, this is what Chris Chandler saw. He saw Chris Dolman. He saw some of Dolman's friends along the front line, like Henry Thomas. And Chandler would see Chris Dolman again. I think he's going to see him in his dreams. And then in this play, he's ruled down in the grasp of Doug Martin. And uh, this is what happens when they try and block Martin. Dickerson missed the assignment. Chandler, 4 of 15 for the rookie. Mama said there would be days like this. And when he could get the pass off, he was picked off often, this time by Carl Lee. Vikings, uh, 28 interceptions, leads the NFL. The one big play of the game, screen pass, Rick Fenny, Tom Tausch, get going! Fenny and Tausch not exactly setting new land speed records there, but it's a 42-yard pickup, and four times Chuck Nelson was called on to make field goals. He made them ranging from 25 through 49. Four field goals today for Chuck Nelson, a man who was almost out of a job late last year, but he excelled in the playoffs and had a fine year this year. With the Vikings leading 9-0, Ron Meyer went to the veteran, Gary Hogeboom replacing Chris Chandler. Hogeboom fared a uh, little better, though. Here he's sacked by Chris Dolman, and uh, Dolman really did a number on Gary here. Tommy. Dolman had a tremendous day all day. Here, he gingerly puts the quarterback down on the ground. Yes, gingerly, yeah. I also got some land for you in uh, the Everglades. Vikings uh, defense finished it off. They wouldn't even allow the, oh, by the way, touchdown is Carly. Don't you ever change. Made the interception. He had two. Vikings beat the Indianapolis Colts by a count of 12-3. The Vikes are hot. They're 8-4. The Colts' five-game winning streak is gone.